This is a powerful tool that allows a user to apply the laws of Boolean algebra to simplify a Boolean expression. I'm going to show you how to use it. After starting, it's giving me a challenge to reduce this expression down to this one. And so I can see right away that I want to apply a law that will get z or z prime down to 1 here. We're going to apply the complement law. The tool is now asking me to choose the first term in this expression. So to, in the expression I want to simplify, it's instead of a, it's called z. So I'm going to select the z there. Now it's asking me to select the second term, the a prime. So in this case, it's z prime. And now we're ready to apply the property to that expression. And the property has been applied, a or a prime is 1, so you can see that z or z prime has been replaced by 1. Now I want to rep replace x and 1 by just x. I'm going to use the identity law here. And so it's asking me to select the a term from a and 1, so in this case it's x. Now it's asking me to select the 1, and we're ready to apply this property. And there we go, we've got it down to x. Let's do another one here. I need to simplify this term. So looking here, I can see I want to factor out the w. So coming over here, I can see that that would be the distributive law. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And I want to select the a, b part uh, from this term here. So I'm going to select WZ, and then I want to select the AC part. So I'm going to, that's going to be WZ prime. I'm going to apply that. So it should factor out the W, which is the A up here, and it does. So now the W has been factored out, and I've got Z or Z prime, and I can apply the complement law just like I did earlier. I'm going to select the left part, then the right part. Oops. I selected both, that was wrong. I was supposed to stop before I did that. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to try again. So z or z prime, I'm going to apply this law here. So it's asking me to select just the a, so I'm going to select the z there. Now it's asking me to select the a prime part, so I'm going to select the z prime, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply the property. And I'm up to w and 1. I'm going to apply identity again. And so asking me to select the A part, that's the W. Now the 1 part, that's the 1. I'm going to apply it, and I got it down to W. So that's how to use the tool.